bam. All right. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, we're back in the building. This is your host of the most of time here in sunny side Dubai. And we are here to continue our conversations on the Torn blockchain. So I'm with my friend Sophia and we are here to talk about how the Torn blockchain is going to revolutionize the way we use the internet information and money. So before we dive into the stories and what she does in the Torn Foundation, we're here to find out a little bit uh, about her story. So, Sophia, hello, welcome to the hello. show. Thanks for having me today. Uh, I'm here in yeah, Dubai hey. now. It's yeah. quite sunny here, but at the same time, it's a bit rainy and the weather is like becomes. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. No, that's awesome. No, look, glad to meet you in person at the at the second meetup. And definitely, we want to have more conversations like about the Tom blockchain. And a lot of people are quite interested too. So, I want to focus this episode about you, your role, what you do. But before we get into the formalities, I just want to know a little bit about yourselves. Who was Sophia Tony before? Tony? Sure. Let me give you my story, like a quick recap about my background. So actually, my journey began as a product manager in a company. It's actually, I'm very involved in it. Like we, I've been worth uh, two companies. It looks like a shadow stock, but with the AI on top of it. And alongside side, like entrepreneurship nice. courses, entrepreneurship technology courses in the Stanford online program. It's eight months online program. And at the same time, I doing like a product in a it's become quite big during that time. The company was really where I worked with. And then, and actually during the program, I started to explore and then like how is actually, what is entrepreneurship? How is venture capital? How is all this stuff happens there? Offering yeah, insight, nice. a lot of insights and how they build work in general. And then I danced, began the head of product. And actually, yeah, from, during that stage, I started doing like, some quite old startups. And deep side, it's eventually failed, like the first one. And and during that time, I still completing building. And then I found another venture focusing alongside with the development process. And we built like quite a successful case, case and business case. Yeah. Nice. And during that period, I also began to explore the vast free space across the various system. Yeah, from All Ethereum right. to Near, it started to contributing, such as an advisory, mostly in the projects in the different fields from the social cases to some DeFi cases there and slowly integrating myself into the Web3 Web3 ecosystem stuff with the to market strategies helping them to attract the cap gotcha. yeah and I guess approximately a year ago it's already a year happens I uh, discovered the tonic ecosystem so delving deeper I recognize it's a unique advantages the significant potential of user adoption and feature that I would right. say most of ecosystem lacks and I start to contributing there attracting the teams and developers to the ecosystem doing some kind of hacks on the boot camps, mostly focusing in the in the Asian market. And yeah, I began to find the teams, developer, help some system on the growth in the growth side. And I said like several months to go let's turn this way. I answered as so recently. And yeah, that's the quick story. That's the quick story how it- All right. Oh, that's cool. No, that's that's really cool that you mentioned about you starting you had your own startup, learn about entrepreneurship and just learning your skills, just raising your human capital. And and now you're helping other people who are in your shoes in the past. So what's the saying, right? It's kind of like 180 kind of approach. So that, that's pretty cool. But I've got to ask you that. I know I asked you, who are you before? Talk back. I want to throw you a little twist to maybe a little bit of personal. I want to know who was Sophia uh, in high school. It's an interesting journey. Well, I'm from a small city in Russia. Actually, the, I think about the education is the most valuable knowledge that you can build. You can build by yourself and you can teach by yourself. Actually, there's a course bunch of information right. that already open in the internet and you can grab all your knowledge across that belt. And regarding this post, I not really finished that. So I just said, okay, guys, I want to do my own stuff and start my own journey and doing oh, some wow. like personal education, mostly online courses that I grabbed from that and start to apply some mentors, some insights, the paid program and Stanford as well. It helps you a lot. And I understood that's like the most valuable knowledge that you can get, you can get by yourself. It's yeah. a study in school, step-by-step guide, and you have these like the base 
of knowledge. When you study by yourself, it's a bit tricky and then sometimes it might be complicated, you might fail and that's, but in general, yeah, yeah. that's it's an interesting journey. I mean, it's some of Boulder, some of <laughs> like venture capital, so it's, it might be the, yeah, some. I don't have actually finished this poll, so I decided to skip that. Skip. Oh, nice. Okay. So I, I'm glad I asked you this question because you mentioned earlier you work for startups, you learn new skills and all that stuff, but you didn't finish high school, but you basically went on this route of the school of hard knocks, right? You just learn things, you just apply knowledge. And in many ways, now in your current role, it makes a lot of sense because if you're going to be a startup founder, like whatever you learned in high school or even college too, doesn't really apply. I mean, this is your, you're just starting out fresh. It is the, I think it's, I think the main skill I'm pretty sure you might have learned is critical thinking to be able to question things and also try new things. What do you say about that? Am I in the right direction or do you have a yeah exactly it gives you more adaptability i would say and it seems more it's 100 percent absolutely really and it gives your mind yeah you become more adapted you might make a lot of fails during your journey and but it mm -hmm. actually helps you to grow faster and it's basically you learn how to how to grab knowledge and how to learn pretty fast because you're you don't have such yeah. as a frameworks and you build these frameworks by yourself you the journey. Some frameworks that it's living from came from yeah. school, you start exploring by yourself. So it's actually an interesting journey and makes sense. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that it's not necessary for some. I would say like it's really important to some individuals to really finish that point, to finish the school and it's important to have it's like yeah. a school, it's a school to high school right. yeah. or the university in some way it's really important because even now I start to still study because I start to improving and putting in my mind as much knowledge as it could because in that field if you're not studying, if you're not, you don't every day, every day, how to say it properly. You have to, I guess it's important to study and it's important to learn new things day by day. And it's really crucial. And it's like competitive mm. feel in general, because you have to, yeah, you have to know yeah. what you do and you have to understand. True. I, I guess, I, I guess the way I see it is you're all about raising your human capital. I think it's pretty much instinctive for all yeah. startup founders to raise your human capital, learn some skill, not necessarily be a technical founder, but hey, you also have to be a business developer. You have to be a marketing strategist. You got to be in a paradigm to go away, jack of all trade. So that's, no, I'm glad you brought that up. Let's bring to your role in the Torn Foundation. So could you explain what you do at the Torn Foundation? Sure. At this time, in the current, this is my role. I'm leading the acceleration program. And our team, we have me and we have Ian, he is an, a director of the venture and accelerator. So mostly to us, yeah. fully working on the accelerator. Of course, we have the rest of the team members from Storm Foundation who helped us a lot with building the best practice, advising the projects, help them to grow. In my current role, yeah, so I've entered and, but by the way, I guess we make a significant, like significant, significant step. We look pretty great in that terms of what we are doing now. Back in the beginning, I just entered the Town Foundation a year ago and there is, there is, there is a several startups that they, that the first, like first wave of founders, let's mean, let's name like the first waves of founders. And they, right now, it's this moment, they're already significant, they're already big enough. I cannot say as a startup, they yeah. have, I don't know, like decent amount of users. Some of the projects have a great amount of TVL and daily trading volume and they're big enough already. But I remember that time where it was just like, I don't know, maybe 10 projects, they building something and it's just the first, first, first wave yeah. of founders, well, like 2023. And then I remember the Dora Hex hackathon, but during the Dora Hex, it's the, it's, it was the first great push to the teams all over the world because it was the biggest approach in the, I guess it's a worldwide hackathon. Yeah. And from each region, the teams wow. and organizing the boot camps and incentivize developers. And it's really from the developers perspective quite a lot oh, that's cool and no, no, thank you for giving kind of like a holistic or maybe kind of like a i would say like an overview of the acceleration program with the gods to the acceleration program obviously it has been playing a pretty important role in in the town ecosystem i guess i i know it, it's just like a secret or something but are you able to share maybe some insights or maybe some of the strategies you guys have used to foster more success and more growth for the ecosystem are there any programs or is it more there's some certain principles 
that we believe we follow that will what we believe that is going to make the ecosystem grow and be I more successful. I observe in this way that so what's acceleration programs actually observe it. So there is important three pillars that we have and actually one one pillar is the operational process. What I mean by that it's the it starts from the comprehensive put it this way mentorship support. So it's included different guidance and technical go to market community building part and during that process we help founders to find it. Networking opportunities and True. to attract new, build new connections and then networking with the other ecosystem players and founders. It's a mentorship support and go to work in, like a clear go to work strategy. How you can actually understand if you can attract those because in, in, the, in the system, we already have the existing user base and we really need to explain founders some techniques and the best practice with, a, with different use cases. Like we have ready such as, such as apps, founders how to actually might help them to go to market. Maybe maybe we can crop some. We can crop some moments. Oh, I don't know. No, no, yeah, those are good. Yeah, yeah. Do you have, are there any success stories you could not enough. It's not all. It has one pillar. So I have a three pillar. So operational process where we, yeah, guide the project, zero mentorship, yeah. go to market, yeah. attracting you to community, blah, blah, oh, blah. Okay. Technical support, of course, because we have developer support, all the mm -hmm. opportunity for projects who we need it, and we also have the funding opportunity. So that's the clear pipeline and the clear, let's say, in the roadmap to oh, nice. the end okay. of the acceleration program. Yeah. The second pillar is is a platform. So recently uh, announced with with open builders with you might know that it's quite huge mini let's put it down in a mini app and interest them have seven million gotcha. yeah. users that and then build a separate platform named it early and actually early is is a platform for early stage founders entered the system with this platform yeah right. you can attract it's like a win-win game you can attract as a project you can attract the early contributors that will bring the value to, to your product and then from user perspective yeah. you gain the benefits from the projects like the first like NBT and then project community board bait. They have a decent amount of seven millions. And the, all the cases, the guys have been launched, it's quite, all of them is quite successfully. And we also have the different incentives inside the system, like leak, for example. It's the differentiation between open leak, because actually the leak has a quite similar heading for between early and open project, early, very early stage. And open leak, we have more, right, yeah. say, mature projects who already have a significant, already built yeah. products inside. So, right yeah. at this moment, recently we actually announced it like several days ago. We have this platform that we could launch and attract new communities contributors to them to set platform. And we also have its capital. So there's three pillars as an operational platform and the capital. During some ventures, the best performing projects in the accelerator, we invest in the top performing projects during the program for the ventures. So the accelerate and it's let it put down in a way that it's the main part of the ventures and a similar pipeline. And yeah, this that's I guess it's great pillars that we have and we developing and hopefully we'll showcase the long trade so and yeah, we yeah. Sweet, nice. Great, so Hopefully. Awesome. That's cool. No, this is good stuff. No, I, I'm glad you're sharing all this stuff because look at a lot of people like who I met over here, they're actually really quite curious, curious, right? Because the, some of the old school guys have been in the industry, they're familiar with, Tom, I guess, previously Graham back in 2018, but like a lot of new people here, they're quite curious about Tom and Telegram, and especially with that big announcement in Token 2049 yeah, right. in Singapore, right? But I just want to take a few steps. Like there, there are some people who are some startups, founders who are actually curious about building some building up their project on the Ton blockchain. So could you give us some sort of like a, is there like a pro and for new startups to, to join, incubate, accelerate and launch and thrive on the ecosystem? If you're a founder, okay, so this, that might be different types of use cases, right? So if you're a founder and you are looking for the mm -hmm. new approach and a new system, and for example, you already have some product and you want to migrate, it might be an option. In this case, we have provide the technical support yeah. and we could guide you through that. We have several use cases like that, so we can guide you to the whole. Yeah, we could help you with the development process, yeah. we advising you on the smart contract part because the, everybody knows that it's quite tricky to, to build on, on an attack in some way. So we could definitely help you with technical support. And if your team that's just entering, they don't have any like product started, the first product on is we also pretty welcome to that types of founders. So I would say that that's no matter from, let's put it in this way. So if you have a great team, it's experienced enough and you have some 
background and that they'll spill before it's really, it will be really great to see on board. If you have any previous products from the different, you want to migrate, you want to explore yeah, how to yeah. the process and what tips you might need to know. Basically, a lot. Where to begin, right? <laughs> All right, cool. Let's actually, well, yeah, actually just a quick question regarding the, the Tom blockchain. It has its own language, right? Like just for the audience, Ethereum has yes. Solidity, Neo protocols, Rust, Aptos, and Sui has Mo What is interesting with Tom is they have their own language called C. So fancy or fun C. Yeah. So correct me in this regard. But I'm curious why they didn't choose Solidity or Rust or Moo and why did they choose to create their own thing? Is Could you give some insights on the why? Why I should build on or why I should like... Oh, the, the language. No, so I was talking about the language, right? It has... Because a lot of people ask me Tom has his own language, fun C. So is there like a particular reason why they decided to use a totally new language? I I would say um, this is like the, why they decided to choose Nancy. Basically, to have a Tom virtual machine and we have the whole infrastructure inside ecosystem. So our right. own DNS, DNS, API, everything built inside ecosystem, so as well as the language. So it's, it might be quite tricky to, for you as Tom just exploring the ecosystem, but I would say what I like and in, it, it might be a lot of for cons, right? When you just start to exploring, but what I really like inside the Tone community, there might be a lot of cons, might be a lot of gaps and in some ways, but what we have as a, and what we, the most ecosystem, as I mentioned previously, is that they, you really can onboard these millions of users, Telegram. And I guess so, we, have yeah. a server, we have a great example, yeah. for example, with the Notboy, right? So this is very simple, yeah. very simple game through that very simple game we had it with a, like a clicker, right? So it's guys like millions yeah. of users. I guess it's now it's about 20, 25 millions or so. And that's a really great example of viral yeah. use cases. By the way, we have some more use cases. We have a different types of games, of course, inside the ecosystem as well. So, right. And uh, during that, yeah, because not I didn't mean to interrupt, but I was just really impressed by like 20 million in one month. That's that's kind of chat GPT kind of virality. So exactly. Awesome, so during way. that cases, we really we showcase how fast and how even like it's a, it's a mini app, right? So it's really it's with a current like a tool set that we have. It's not that tricky to integrate your product inside a mini app as a builder. So it's won't take you like, I don't know, like years, so like months of development. It's pretty easy. And yeah. during that tools that we have, it's explained builders how easily it might be two to web three. So even still web two products. So in game case, yeah. Oh, and man. it's through that examples, as I mentioned, it's my help builders to onboard it, to get into the ecosystem and even explore the font scene and explore type of fancy language. It's yeah. If you understand the final goal, if you understand yeah. that you want to, what do you want to do? your market it's very easy enter the market so with telegram with it yeah no i was uh no, because was, I, we just had the recent Dawn meetup here in Dubai. The topic was technical, but I think what it was, I was just talking to some of the, so there were some new people who came by, like many of them could see, you know what, if you had a, you just, your success is like one step away. If you're going to build something on and then connect it to, if you're going to create a product that's really valuable, that's meaningful to over 800 million users on Telegram, the mass it's adoption here, yeah. is, is right there. Is there. It's here. Uh, yeah, what's your thought on that? I, I'm sure that must be like just a mind blowing stuff. Like we're almost there. We, we really think about it. Damn. I saw, think that don't have a lot of, have all the chances to be number one in this game in terms of the user adoption. And I quite believe it's happening. It's happening, actually. It's happening through that thesis. It happens. Yeah. And well, if you look step like a year ago, we grow significantly. The amount of wallets inside the ecosystem, the people who really know what yeah. Tony is in a different markets because most of the audience that coming up like most the CIS yeah. region. Now I would say that we have a wider adoption in Asia. We have adoption in like insurance. Yeah. And so this community right. hubs as you guys building as well and helping us grow is really make a crucial role in running the developers. Like through that events, like it might look like a small steps, like events, right? It's increased visibility and increase the trust for some projects and followers. Oh, yeah. These events also like society incentive and during the whole events, it's helping us to build the, the clear path, how you might find, how you might know, and then you delve deeper in the whole processes. And at the end of the day, we get a decent amount of founders who are in founders and projects who know already about the ecosystem. 
familiar with that during these events. Because, for example, we have several use cases in talk society where we, where the guys on board several teams, right, that's participating, for example, now. Yeah, it actually oh, nice. works pretty okay. well. I love how the society actually works. And we have, yeah, we have a wider adoption. We have the amount of teams that our team is growing as well, a foundation team. You have to have all the chances to be like the number one blockchain. And no, but I think it's, I know like many other people who are relatively new, they did, they would think saying, you know, Tom being number one would be quite a bull statement kind of thing. As a lot of new people are more like BTC maximalist mm. or ETH maximalist or something like that. But I'm more about, I'm more, I believe in utility. I, I want people on the local level to buy their coffee, sending money through the app or something like, because I feel that's the case. And I just want to add with what you said about the Dawn Society, it's pretty cool getting developers together and all that stuff. But being part of Society UAE, it's not just developers too, but we also want to attract investors, the the different funds, family offices and stuff. But, but hey, you know what? Telegram is not something new. It's Web2, but hey, it has millions or millions of people using it on a regular basis. Some of these guys are using it too. And I think we have an incredible amount of business use cases. We can do a lot of business on the Tom blockchain. So, so I just want to add that up and to, to connect what, you, what you're doing. So that's a lot to be proud of. Absolutely. You know absolutely. I, yeah, I agree 100%. UAE have a, like, a, it's their own, the differences around, right? So in UAE, it's the merge of mature teams that the founders who already know and have a well experienced. So here, I guess, it's a great opportunity yeah. to actually merge it during this event, merge founders, get track new capital partners as well. So I guess they have a unique, a unique advantage as a hub. In the crypto world, I guess, yeah. it's in the crypto field, it's built like one of the main hub in general. We, okay, we have Hong Kong, it's quite, it's well adopted in terms of crypto and we also have Dubai. It's, in, in my opinion, it's like, it's one of the major hubs in the whole world for the crypto. Totally in agreement with you. I, I think, of course, like, I, I'm here some highest towards Dubai, but I just see it as a crossroads. It's there's lo- there's lots there's a lot going on. That being said, I just wanted to I know we are almost close to the end of our time. Would love to have a really I don't know more of a longer format. But I gotta ask you this before you know you gotta go. What are the I'm sure people have asked you a lot of questions about top, but what are the most important maybe you say like top two point or top three point you wish people should know, should absolutely be aware and know about the Torn blockchain. So I'm um, even open but I'm sure there's a lot of important points yeah. people should know what would be your you know, top, top three points top three? that people should know about Tom blockchain I guess it's the market in general like the whole ecosystem what product we have what niche we have to build the to open up some new opportunities and to open up some new new windows in, in such a niche so I guess the general ecosystem map yeah. you have to know what is it what product we already have how they actually operate what verticals we have and the, what verticals we have more in terms of ecosystem development perspective so I guess the market first, yeah. of course, it's a technical stock stack. You have to know what is how to call it, what is yeah. it. The tool set, let's name that as a tool set because the coding is just a tool yeah. to, to build your like the final ideas. So yeah, the, I would say that you have to know what the yeah. technical stack is. Also, I think the third one and the problems, the problems that ecosystem have, like the general that you want to solve, you aim to solve. Okay, we might have, you might solve these or these problems and yeah. you might have that. You have to have the clear understanding what's problem you you aim to solve during the, uh, right. your product solution. I guess, yeah, there's problems, like the system okay. and, and the tool size as a technical stack, as a coding, coding skills. That's the main one, I guess. It might be like this, it's, it might be like wolf forward, like it's maybe fragmented and okay, the technical stuff, else, the market problem, yeah. or and what it means that. So it's, right. there's that <laughs> three like high level pillars that we could put it down in this way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, those, no, those are good points. No, those are good points because, because I know slowly a lot of new people are, now they're starting to be aware of a ton and I tell them you should check out coin gecko or not to be the kind of guy hey numbers goes up or something like that but it just showcases that it's not a new kid on the block it's a, it is a solid blockchain like ecosystem yeah i think we're almost at the end so i of course you're working with startups and stuff so what is that one skill or one value that you respect when it comes to a startup founder oh the values of the i think it's my it's one of I have to name one or I might name more. Oh, okay. I, 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 I'm sure. Okay, let's do three values that you respect. You know what? These are the three things I respect about a particular style of founder. So if he or she has this, yeah. you know what? I got respect. You know what I'm saying? Three, yeah. three. Okay, let's, let me think. I guess it's the, the values. Okay, let's define a little bit. Like, let's, 
try to put out, okay, the product value, right? Sure. The product, we have a product, product side and we have the personalities. So on the product side, I really, if you're building the product, I really respect the founder, the market, the market potential, the total addressable market, the market that they know end awesome. user, they know their audience, they know the market pretty well. And I really respect that because otherwise you might fail and you don't have any, like, you have to know like, your end user, you have to. You have to know the problems that you're trying to solve. It's, it's very basic. It's very generic, basic stuff. That's no. Yeah. And at the same time, I really respect some, like, for the, on the, on the product side, I respect about, let's put it in a, because some founders have the, I really respect on the focus because some founders have a lot of, mm. you have a lot of stuff to do. You have a multiple verticals, like marketing, product development, team right. building, capital raising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You focus on everything, you try to focus and be everywhere. That's the crucial problem. I really respect that we're like, I would say being, being at the That's exact good. moment and then they will do the step by step growth. Okay. We finish that next step. We finish that okay. next step. because most of the like cases that I've seen that's it's generically speaking, the founder just try to be everywhere and do everything. It's okay. expensive. Uh, yeah. You have to put yourself in a step by step, step by step. Same thing. And it's why I think. Okay. I guess to have that discipline, right? And not to be like frivolous. You're just discipline like putting off Yeah, just put it down oh. as a discipline. Oh, I would say, yeah, that's the important factors. It might be like, if you're, if you have a step-by-step -step understanding, mm -hmm. if you have uh, clear expectations, if you know the market, if you know the problem, it's, it's, I guess it's the most important successful factors that you might have as a founder. I don't deep delve deeper in the fundraising part because there it's another part. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's a whole nother conversation, a whole yeah. nother, like, I don't know, it's like, a, gotcha. Okay. No, awesome. Hey, uh, Sophia. Hey, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time. I'm really, really honored to connect with you and hear your story and also the work that you do. It is, I know it's a labor of love, but also the fact that I love your journey coming from the school of hard knocks and now you're like come full circle helping other startups where you were. So this, this is really cool. And I think in many ways, it's also from my side, it, I think it feels therapeutic too, to be able to like look at the look at the past, but also share that knowledge. So it's it's really cool. And that on top of that, with Dawn blockchain and stuff, I mean, it's that's a whole nother level. So I think that's, I'm sure the journey in the future that you're pursuing, it's, it's going to be very fruitful. Um, yeah. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for Sophia. having me today. And actually, it's great. It's a really great <laughs> job. They're really great approach that you're doing. And it's really important that I'm doing, vision, guys. Yeah. It's, I'm really respectful for all your, like, all the events. and really try to also try to. Uh, and, uh, sure, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And hey, and folks, y'all, we got some upcoming events taking place. And also, we also, uh, and also with the Society X and Taunt Society UAE, we're trying to work on a little, a little something around Token 2049. We got some big plans, big things are happening. Right. Hey, just follow us and you'll be the first to know. So anyways, fam, we got to go. So y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Bye. Bye for now.